Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to unban your PS3 from a console ban. Uh, you're going to need a new uh, console ID, um, which you can get from uh, Console Crunch. You can get public ones there, or um, there's many people who sell these. I do as well, and I'll leave my Skype name in the description if you want to contact me. Um, so you're going to start by downloading the files that I included in the description there's the PS3 file and one for your PC so do that now once you have the files downloaded you're gonna copy the ps3.pkg file to the root of a thumb drive you're gonna make sure that that thumb drive is formatted FAT32 or else it won't show up on your PS3 odds are that it is but if it's not showing up that's uh, most likely the reason why Alright, now plug your flash drive into your PS3 and install the package file. There's um, a couple different, you know, setups. This is Rebug that I'm on here, so it'll be different from, um, say, if you have uh, Regero or something a bit more basic like Habib. Um, but on uh, Rebug, if, if you copied it to the root, you just go to the standard location. And you'll see it, just install it. I already had it installed, um, so I had to reinstall it, I suppose. And I just launch Control Console, and for me, it's going to say uh, this will uninstall. Right here, it'll say this will uninstall. So that's why I click no, but um, you're just going to want to click yes um, to install it, and uh, you won't have to ever really mess with this app again as far as all it does is install and uninstall so once it's installed um, you're gonna need to find your IP address so navigate to uh, uh, system settings and then down to system information and there it is you're gonna write that down because you're gonna be needing it just a little bit later Alright, back on your PC, you're going to want to install the Control Console app, which you downloaded in the description. Just let it do its thing, let it click, keep clicking next, and once it installs, it'll load it up, go File, Add New Console. Um, once you do that, you can name it whatever you want, and for the IP address, you're going to want to put in that IP address from your PS3 that I had you write down earlier once you add it you're going to uh, right click it and uh, click connect and then you'll see the four tabs over to the right and you'll go to uh, console IDs and you'll add um, you're going to add both of them add your console ID is the top one and your uh, PS ID is the bottom one the bottom one's uh, not mandatory but uh, I'd recommend it if you have both once you uh, put them in the tabs you're going to want to click set current and uh, set boot for both options and um, the current is just will just stay until you uh, reset your PS3 and boot will um, be a bit more permanent once you do that you'll be able to log back in and you're good to go I hope this helped you guys and uh, thanks for watching